welcome back to Everyday Mama. I'm Leanne and today I'm going to take you on a tour of our new home office and show you five tips on how we organized it. Let's get started. When organizing our office, we made sure to only put in what we needed. We wanted to keep it minimal and that is our first tip. Just put in what you need. Go through your stuff and make sure that you can if there's anything you can declutter, get rid of it because less stuff is less to organize. It's less to clean, it's less to think about. We have one bookcase and we put all of our um, leisurely reading material in there. If we get a new book, we find a book to donate. It's just that simple. We have um, one other bookcase behind our desk that holds some old um, historical books and that is more for display. So we try to keep it very minimal. The second tip I have for you is about filing. Whenever we decided how we were going to do our files in our house, we knew we needed a every day, put something in the basket to get it out of our um, hair for the moment kind of place. And we also needed a permanent filing system. So I got one of those little white baskets from Dollar Tree and if you watch my command center organization which I will link above and put in the description box below you will see in that video that we have a temporary little bin that we put our um, temporary files in so if I get my mail in and I open it up and I see that I have a receipt I go ahead and I put that in the temporary file and I don't think about it anymore until the end of the month with it at the end of every month, I take that basket up and I bring it up to our office. And that's where we have our permanent filing system. We just have one crate of files. About four or five years ago, my husband and I went through all of our files from before we knew each other and once we got together, like being able to go through each paper and it took about three days and about 10 to 15 hours it was madness but we were so happy when it was over and ever since then it has really been a streamlined process so now that we have it in this minimal white crate it has just what we need to keep um, things about our home things about our um, retirement um, things about our auto so we've got those in different files we bring up the temporary files and we just put them in where they go so if I'm looking through them and I'm like, oh, I don't need this anymore, I can shred it right then. If I'm putting in the newest statement, I can pull out the oldest statement and shred it right there. So all of that is in a very streamlined, efficient place to do so. And I only have to think about it once a month. So it doesn't really get that high as far as the amount of papers. It takes me about seven to 10 minutes once a month and it really has helped me. So I encourage you to try that. My third tip is about taxes. We actually put the filings of our taxes in a different location than our permanent files. I know it's a permanent thing that we file, but we actually put it in one of those huge boxes that you would see to put um, maybe photos in, um, I guess other paperwork, but it looks like a shoe box. It's really pretty and it's very deep. You're supposed to keep your taxes for um, seven to 10 years prior to the year you're in. So we keep those in our little packs in that box. But on top of that box, we have a cute little bin and it says this year's tax. So during the year, whenever we have something that we put in that temporary bin downstairs, when I bring it up to file, if I'm like, oh yeah, this is from the car, I need to keep this, or this is from the mortgage um, statement, I need to keep this for taxes, I will put it in that bin right there. So then it keeps it for the end of the year. Whenever we go to um, do our taxes, we hand it over to the lady at H&R Block. We put a little treat in the bin with it and we say, please go do our taxes. And she brings it back to us in a nice little neat um, pack and we're able to put it back in the bigger box to store. And then we take that last one that was in from seven to 10 years ago and we take the contents out and we shred them. That is how we keep our files together and it has really helped just with the stress of remembering, what do I need for taxes? I never have to think about it. When it comes to January, I wait on um, the last W-2s to come in and then we can go off to H&R Block. So that's very helpful. My fourth tip for you is in how I organize our manuals. I went out to Walmart and bought a three set crate system 
and I'll link it below if you would like to get it yourself. One holds our permanent files and one holds our manuals. I've got file folders hanging inside there just like I do for the permanent files, but instead it says the names of the rooms in our home, kitchen, laundry room, master bedroom, and then the manuals for the items that go with those rooms, that's where I put them. So for instance, this fireplace right here, it's an electrical fireplace that I built, put together, it came with a manual. It is in the master bedroom file. It just seems to make it easier to find them and it's in the office closet out of the way because we don't access the manuals very often. Yes, I know that you can get rid of a lot of manuals and they've got them online these days so that you can just go find them and that is um, an option. But for my husband and me, we prefer to have um, the handheld manual in the times of <laughs> crisis. I don't know why I'm saying crisis. In the times of problems with the, the items. My last tip for you is to have a project bin. Now, this is what we use that third crate for. And to me, a project bin is like a junk drawer for your thoughts. If you feel like you wanna write a new book, then put the thoughts down on a piece of paper and file it in this project bin. If you really want to redo a room in your house, start a file on that room and keep it together. Keep your thoughts together and have it in this project bin. It is a bin that you don't have to access if you're busy. You can put a little note in your planner that says, hey, go check out the project bin this weekend and see if there's anything I can accomplish. But it's just a place to keep that stuff organized and together and not all over the place because if it's all over the place, you're definitely not gonna get to it and it's going to cause stress and chaos. If it is there in a nice crate, then you can look through and say, you know, I don't really wanna work on the master bedroom today, but you know, I do wanna work on that new book I was gonna write. So let me pull that out and see if there's anything that I can do for that. I have found that very helpful and um, you can have a bin for each person in your house or for each project in your house, whatever works for you. I hope those five tips in this tour of our office has helped give you some inspiration when you go to organize your office. I really hope you've enjoyed today's video. I will see you in the next one. And until then, wishing you lots of simplicity, progress, and joy. Bye.